Hey everyone, my name is Zimri Mayfield, and today we'll be making a flat design monster complete with long shadows. It'll be pretty awesome, so follow along. Once you have Illustrator open, hit File New, Standard 960. Oh, I should name it something. Flat design monster. Quick and dirty, to the point. And now I have my artboard up, and I'm going to paste in these flat design colors that I'll be using for the project. I just took a screenshot of that from flaturicolors.com and then pasted them in. Now I want to make the background color, so I'm going to press M to get the box tool and click once. That means this dialog box will come up and I can specify what size I want my a box to be. I'm going to go 960 by 960, which is the exact same size as the canvas. Put it in place and press I to get the color dropper tool and fill it in with a color. Sure, red looks nice, so let's leave it like that. Great, I'm going to call this background Z, Z, Z. Just to give it that extra pizzazz. Now I'll lock it, press this button to create a new layer. I'm going to call this monster Z, Z, Z the same kind of pizzazz. So now I'm on this monster level. And let's start with the head. Press P to get the pen tool and I'm gonna curve it around. Ooh, you know what? Um, the layer we're on right now is red so let's see if we can let's just add a new layer. Now we'll have it be green. So now I can see the lines I'm making. Perfecto. Okay, and I'm gonna make um, half of his half of the monster's head so now I can make, ooh, if you don't want it to curve out like that, just click it there. Now see how it made a, a right turn like that. And we'll fill it with a different color. I click a different color. Great. Now let's zoom in on this. Control C, Control F to copy itself on top of the one we just made and press reflect vertical 90 degrees move it over until you're about halfway there select them both hit this combine object and now we have a interesting monster head I'm gonna select it and hold alt while I drag out one side and that will mean that both sides drag out evenly okay I don't really like how um, pointy the top is so I'm gonna make an adjustment to that control plus to zoom in and I'm gonna press a so I can select this Then I'm gonna press P hold alt and drag out and if you hold shift you can get a straight line so now the top of our monster head is much less angled it's nice and round now okay cool we got the head now let's go in and create a horn. So I'm going to get the P tool again, click once, uh, do the outside edge. Mm, maybe go a little bit further so it curves up like that. Click here to make our right point. And then click once again and then click and drag to make a horn like that. What do you think? Does that look good? Nope. I think it needs to be bigger. Right now I'm holding sh uh, shift and alt means that we can scale it in the same position. I like that. So that's good. So I'm going to control C, control V, bring it over here, right click, transform, reflect 90 degrees vertical. Cool beans. Now we have both of our horns. And if we want to make sure that they're um, aligned level now, since I didn't copy it on top of itself and then move it over, they might be at different levels. So I can press control R and bring up I don't know what this is called, but just like scaling options. And then I can click and drag down a line. And I can tell by looking at the line that this hits it and this doesn't yet. So now they're much more even. Great. Perfecto. So now we have the head. Let's go ahead and work on the body some. So I'm going to use the pen tool again, and I'm going to use the same method where I just create a... Um, Sorry, I'm having a problem because my keyboard types in Chinese as well. So let's see. Bring it down here, kind of make a make a shoulder, and then kind of bring it back down to the 
Uh, let's make it a little more round. Uh, make one here, actually. Kind of give him a fat tummy. <laughs> and then kind of there. And we can adjust this because we have something going on here. Actually, just get rid of that one. And let's control Z all the way back because we're making issues here. Press P on it now. There we go. Now we can line up there. And if you want this to be a little bit more curved, let's press A, then P, hold Alt, drag out like this. And if you hold Alt again, you can control one side. OK. Awesome possum. Now I'm going to um, select this, Control c Control f to paste on top of itself, transform, reflect 90 degrees vertical. And then just I'm using the arrow keys to move it over. Let's see. Um, that'll probably be fine. I'm going to join them like that. And I don't like how the bottom looks, so I'm going to select this and just kind of move it down and out. OK, great. Looks good. There's the body of our monster. Let's make it just a little bit bigger. So press V, then click on it, Alt-Shift at the same time. Now it's in place. We'll put it here. Control-Shift, left bracket. Now it's behind this one, which is what we want. OK. Um, let's make it a little bit wider. So hold Alt while you drag out one side, and both sides will be dragged out. OK, cool. So uh, let's work on the arm now. I'm going to make kind of a fin. So I'm going to use the pen tool again. Kind of just formulate sort of a thing like that. And that'll be a tiny, tiny arm. So let's make it a little bit bigger. There we go. And depending how you want the shoulder to look, we can move it to different locations like we could have kind of no shoulder like that or we could give it a shoulder like that I'm, I might choose to go with no shoulder I feel like it's a little bit cuter that way <laughs> everybody likes a cute monster right I'm gonna um, I'm going to play with the size of this, so I'm going to select both of these points and then um, drag it out some to make it longer, but just just those two points. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to press V, Control C, Control F, transform, reflect, and degrees vertical. Now I can hold Shift and move it over, and it'll stay in the same height as the other arm, and align it. Right like that. That looks pretty good, right? Who am I kidding? It looks fantastic. Okay. So I'm actually going to make the body a little bit longer. So um, let's see if I select this point, this point, and this point, and drag it out some. can make it longer like that. Okay, I'm just going to go in with the feet because I'm not going to make any legs. So... We can just do it like this. And the top of this thing doesn't matter because it'll be like that. So let's turn it that way. Make it a bit a bit bigger. Now I'm going to add some um, like claws. Kind of like that. But we'll make them bigger. So it's more menacing and more noticeable. Boom. Like that, maybe. Maybe bigger. Ah, those are big claws. OK, and then I'm going to um, just copy and paste it a couple times. Control V, con Control C, Control V. And then do it again to get the other side. And I might transform it again. OK, turn it how I want it. And turn it a little bit more. Perfecto. 
Mm, kind of. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Let's make it a big foot like that. Um, you know what? These don't really look that well, do they? So I'm going to shrink that one and shrink this one. Possibly shrink that one. Kind of just looks like a frog foot now. Okay, that's good though. Let's leave it as a frog foot for now. <laughs> um, okay, this really is bugging me, even though it doesn't matter at all. Let's just kind of get it like that so it doesn't look so horrendous. Okay, so select this whole thing, control C, control V, move it where we want it, and then um, transform it again. Perfect. Okay, look at that. Now we got our cute little monster here. Mm -hmm, like that. And mm -hmm, like. Yeah. You know what? Actually, I kind of like it if the uh, these are a little bit shorter. Okay, like that. It's cool. Okay, now we got our flat design monster. Here we are. Uh, you know what? Let's make him a little bit smaller because we're gonna add some other, some other things later. Okay, great. Let's go with the face now. So I'm gonna start on the eyes, and let's get a different fill for a moment. So I'm gonna make a shape and just fill it with something else like white. It's not actually white, but it's pretty close. Okay, now when I make a shape, it'll be white. So I want kind of a big eye, and then come down to the bottom in the middle, shape it out like that, holding shift. And if I just click once, I'll complete the other side of that. Here we are, control C, control V. Um, are these lined up? I can drag a line down to see that they are not lined up at all. So let's just move this down there. And when if you drag down a line like this, it just becomes an object, so you can select it and delete it like that. Okay. So now this eye is a little bit too far out, isn't it? Okay, let's see here. Drag him in a little bit more. And I don't think our body's really centered, so let's move it a little bit more to the left. Okay, that looks good. Now we have... Um, an eye. Let's drag it out here so we don't mess with the face. And now we're going to add some detail like the actual eye part. <laughs> so what you want to do is control C, control F. Now we have two of these white objects on top of each other. Press L to get the circle tool. Hold Alt and Shift and drag out an eye. That doesn't go all the way up so I'm going to drag it up a little bit more. Alt and Shift make it bigger. And I'm going to fill it with a different color so that we can see what's going on here. I'll make it uh, the blue color there. Okay, so now what we can do is select this circle, select this shape, and then press that one. Intersect. Okay, so what that did was um, it got rid of one of, our, one of these white objects, so now we just have one. Okay, great. Um, but how does an eye normally look? I have no idea. Blue, then, okay, let's make a small, small black circle in the middle. So hold, press L to get the, oh, I'm on Chinese again. <laughs> L to get a circle. I'm still not getting in there, am I? Here we are. Okay, now I'll shift at the same time. And we have that, and we can make it uh, dark gray. Fantastic. Now we have an eyeball. You know what I might do? No, we're good. Okay, cool. Now I have this eyeball, and I can line it up there. And our monster is taking shape, isn't he? Good, 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 good. So we can um, delete that and then select all these, control C, control F, hold shift while I move it over. And now we have two eyes. 
Okay, let's go ahead with the mouth. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna add some detail to that eye. So, something cool to do would be to select all three of them. Control C, Control F. So now I have two eyes on top of each other. Hit this combine tool, make one white. Change the transparency to 20%. And get the pen tool. Click a, um, well, let's see. Actually, we want it to go this way. We're going to make a shape halfway around this eye here. There we are. And now I can select this and the transparent object I just made and then cut them out like that. So now we have kind of a uh, glaze on our eye here. Another thing we might be interested in doing is creating a small circle here of white. So now we have a little bit more of a realistic cute eyeball. But let's make sure we don't get too realistic. Um, otherwise, we leave the world of the flat. Okay, so I just selected all of those and I press Control G to group it because there's a lot of things going on in there. So Control C, Control F. Now I have um, two on top of each other. Zoom out a little bit so I can see that they're centered. Okay, perfect. Our monster is looking very good. Um, let's make a mouth now. And for the mouth, I'm just going to go simple, make it look very sad. Oh, this is looking almost too sad now. Okay, but I want to reverse them. So it's just like that. Oh, he looks so sad. Okay, and um, this looks just like a line. So what we're going to do is I'm going to click stroke, up the weight some, and um, I'm going to use this width tool here. And and there, make the ooh, make the middle bigger, and then and that side as well. Ugh, sorry, let's zoom in a little bit so I can see better. Here, there we go. Okay, now we have our sad monster. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I might make it um not a white mouth, maybe a. Uh, I'll probably steal the darkness from the eyeball. Oh, shoot. Sorry. We messed that up. Let's change the... Uh... Oh, I'm just going to control Z until it comes back to white how we want it. Then just change the color of this here. Be easier. Okay, perfect. There we are. There's our sad guy. And this dark, see how this dark gray looks a lot more um, flat than the white did? Not certain why. It just, you know, it just does. Oh, maybe we should put some claws on the arms here. So I'm going to grab these claws and then put them on the fingers as well. See how that looks. Uh, it, I think it might look good if we line it up a little bit better. Ooh. How slow can you scroll? There you go. Come out a little bit. More like. These would be easier to work with if I had curved the tops of them. <gasps> okay. So let's just make sure these are looking good. Keep them at the hood, keep them looking good. Okay, perfect. I think that'll be fine. Oh, okay. Here we are. Get these three guys going on. Control C, Control V, and then I'm gonna transform them again. My favorite move, the reflect vertical 90 degrees. Uh huh. Mm. aren't really in the right place, are they? Move them up some. Okay, that works. Okay, perfect. So now, since we have all of that, I'm going to add, like, 
a um, kind of a circle to his belly because I think that'll be cute also. So I'm gonna go here, one on the left side, hold shift, then one on the bottom, hold shift, and one on the right, hold shift, and then back up to the top here, and then just end end our circuit like that, and make that a different color. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe the dark the dark gray again. That's too dark, so let's lighten it up some okay cool so let's just um, select everything up here control shift right black bracket brought it to the top that's too dark so let's lighten it up again some okay try like that and I don't think it's wide enough so I'm gonna hold alt and drag it out more like that and also I'm going to select this and bring it down more there we go actually let's move the top in some like uh, like that <laughs> okay great let's stay like that for a minute okay so let's add some um, some shadows on the body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here. Um, I'm going to make his feet darker. I'm going to grab this whole thing. Control C, Control F. Make it black. Transparency. Get like 20%. Uh, make sure that these three things are behind. And this is Oh, yeah, I forgot to make it one object here. Make it one object. And then 20%. And now you don't have that kind of stuff going on anymore. And it's behind our body. Good, good, good. And I might take this. Control C, Control F. Transform, reflect 90 degrees. And bring it over onto this guy's foot <laughs> oh it's a different foot never mind so I'm gonna select all that control C control F make it one object again make it black and at 20% okay and move it behind control shift left bracket now it's behind our body and he's looking real good now I want to make a um, a shadow here, like under the neck, because that makes makes sense, doesn't it? So let's see what would be the best way to do that. So grab the body shape. No, grab the head. Control C, Control F, bring it down some here, and then select both of these. Um, well, actually, let's do something else. Okay, let's just go in here and pen tool it. Let's pen tool it. I'm going to go here, and then one here. Kind of... I could have done one in the middle, but I didn't want to. I don't know why. And then pen tool here. To there and just anywhere you want over here then to the body and just like that so now we have this that we're gonna make black and change it to 20% transparency bring everything on the head control shift right bracket to the front and we have this nifty shadow underneath the neck that we can make bigger, which I actually do want to make bigger, so I'm gonna make it like that and drag this point out a bit and this point out some there like so. Okay good, that looks a little bit better 
Now let's do um, let's do a horn. So control C, control F. Now I have two on top of each other. Make the top one black. And now I'm going to get the pen tool and select here and there. Curve out like that. Make sure that side of the horn is covered. Kill it there. Bring it down to 20. And now we have half of the horn in shade. Like that. Perfecto. And now we want to do the same thing with this horn, but on the opposite side. So now, we can do one here and one there. Make sure you're covering the left side of it this time. No, never mind. The right side of it. There we go. Now select them both. Cut it out like that, make it 20%, and bring that to the back, and bring this to the back. Perfect. Now <laughs> he's starting to look good, right? Starting to look very flat. But now I think he needs eyebrows. So <laughs> let's see what we can do here. Maybe some, just some simple squarish eyebrows will work. And let's make it white, maybe. Now he looks like an old man, huh? What if they're red? If they're green. Green looks pretty cool. Yeah, let's go with that. And I might make it a little bit bigger. Okay, Control C, Control F, and then Transform Reflect. Okay, move that to that side, and now, well, those are huge eyebrows. Okay, I'm just going to make them the same as this gray part there, otherwise it's overwhelming. He's looking good like this. I'm going to do half of his face in darkness, so Control c Control f uh, make it black, get the pen tool, and let's see, the light's coming from the right side, so... I think we want it to be somewhat like this. All right, I think that's correct. Okay, make a big shape, cut it off, make it um, less transparent, and there we have that guy. He's looking, he's looking good so far. Um, we definitely need to make this arm here um, more in shade so well yeah let's do the body first and this side so let's do this whole thing and this whole thing control C control F make it one object black now we can grab our pen tool again start where that left off and kind of curve the body out that way connect back there, cut it out, and make it 20%. Mm -hmm. Now we've got this issue going on. So if you have an issue like that, how do you solve it? Even though it looks good because it looks like it could be the bottom of his chin. But let's see what we can do here. Um, oh yeah, we just need to bring all of the head to the front, and that'll cover that up. Okay, good. So you can see how it's kind of kind of working already, getting that flat detail outlined here. Now let's make sure this arm is a little bit um, darker. So I'm going to use the, let's see what we can do. Move this out for a minute so we can gain access to this. And let's make control C, control F, make it one shape. And then I might um, press Control Y so we can see outlines. Now I'll get the pen tool and go from here to here. So we're copying that line. So if I cut out, yeah, 
we want to cut out that side. So now hit control Y again to bring it back. It's getting a little bit confusing, isn't it? So now I have this arm outside the body that I'm going to make black and do 20 more percent. See, so now you can see that arm's darker than the other. And let's bring this back over and put it in position. If it's not too much of an imposition. <laughs> okay. Hmm. This really should be more curved along there, shouldn't it? So let's see if we can adjust that. Let's grab this here and see if we can mess with some points. Let's make sure we have the point selected before we begin messing with it. How does that look? Is that better? Not quite yet. So let's see if we can what we can do with that. Yeah. Okay, that's getting better. I don't want to spend too much time on it. Okay, cool. So now we have this guy. And that might be everything I do to the body for now. Our monster here. I'm going to select it all. And I've grouped it all. I've selected it all and pressed Control G. Now, what we want to do is make three monsters on top of each other. So, Control C to copy it. Control B, paste it behind. Control F, paste it in front. So I press Control B once. So now there's two monsters. Pressed it again. Now we have three monsters on top of each other, as you can see here in the layers. The top one we don't want to see right now, so it's gone. Now I want to select both the middle and bottom ones, and we're going to make them black. I'm going to move the bottom one to wherever I want the shadow to end. So let's make it down here somewhere. There we are. Okay, so that actually, you know what? Let's move it. Let's move it off. That's going to be like the world's longest shadow, but it'll be cool, I think. Well, we can test it. Let's. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, all the way off. Now, since they're both black, what we want to do is make this one invisible. Transparency, zero. If they were both solid black, our shadow would go all the way down and just end abruptly at that outline. Since this one is invisible, our shadow from the black one will fade out into non-existence. Now what we want to do is select both of our monsters, double click this, which is the uh, blend tool. Under spacing, go down to specify distance. Make it one pixel. Okay. There we are. Now, the moment of truth is when we go. So now we have both of them selected, and our blend mode is at one pixel. Now we'll make the blend. Object, blend, make. OK, now we just wait, because it's kind of a big process here. OK, cool. Cool, 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 cool. It worked. OK, so now. Um, make sure that the opacity is down. I'm going to say, like, let's make it 25%. 25. Press enter. Now it should get a little bit lighter, I think. Sorry, it's taken a while to render this. These long shadows take work. They take a lot of work. Okay, great. So now we have this shadow, right? And it goes out, but we don't have a, we don't have our monster here at all. So that's why we had three of the monsters. And I can click that, and it brings back, and it brings back the monster. If we select the uh, the blend, we can go here to transparency, and make sure it's not on normal. I think we want it to be on multiply, and it'll take a little bit to kick in. Here it's loading. 
Okay, and that's what that looks like. So now we have a monster with a long shadow. But you can see our shadow goes outside our square, right? So all we have to do is... Uh, oh, yeah, let's unlock the background so I can select it. Okay, select this box. Control-C, Control-F. Now it's on top of it. That's what we want. Well, actually, it's not. So bring it to the front of oh I see okay delete that we just want one but we want it on the other layer so we want this same uh, box on our monster layer so now control V it there okay good now make sure it's lined up with our artboard okay now select the the shadow and that board and press what is it maybe control 7 let's see what that did okay yeah so control 7 so if I, what I did was I pressed the box and the blend but make sure the box is on top of the blend, okay? The box has to be above the blend. So you click the box, then select the blend also, and then press Control-7. That'll make a clipping mask. So everything outside um, the box will be gone. Does that make sense? Good. <laughs> so now let's make sure that our monster here is not under the shadow, because I think it is right now. So let's... Um, Okay, I have no idea where the layers panel went, so I'm going to select the blend uh, if I can. Let's see here. Okay, so select the monster. Control, shift, right bracket, bring him to the front. And now he's at the front. And there is our flat design monster with a long shadow. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'm sorry it took my computer a while to render it. But um, if you want to help me out at all, you could subscribe to my channel and tell all your friends that there's this awesome flat design designer doing all these cool things. <laughs> or you could just like the video. <laughs> That'd be helpful too. Okay, thanks guys. Catch you next time. Bye.